there's a reason why I became a daily writer. It's because I'm addicted to wordplay. I, in fact, I, I've always called it a word dump. It's where I go to just dump a bunch of thought and then try to play off from it. It becomes an addiction when you start playing with words. Creativity in itself is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I have been without a smartphone for two days. My mother would call it a filthy habit. News, text messages, emails, and Facebook haven't been anywhere near me. I'm amazed at how much time that I physically waste surfing the web. It is a filthy habit. Mom was actually right. In its place, I've shared nice conversations with my wife. We've located space to shop the local market so that we can make dinner together in our own kitchen. Like all other habits, I've had my share of withdrawals. Restlessness. The goal was to make sure that the smartphone wasn't replaced by binge-watching television. <laughs> Guess what? That's exactly where I went. Not so strong in that area. Taking note of it, is why we went to the local market. It's too easy to be a bump on a log. That's what my dad used to say. Will you quit being a bump on a log? When the new smartphone arrives later on today, how is it going to affect my heart? Will I instantly make it a filthy habit again? Constantly searching for information that doesn't mean anything after five minutes. You search to search. And to whom am I going to share it with? Our filthy little habits. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. One of the things that's fun about putting pen to paper is the opportunity to share a thought, to make a wonder, to physically find yourself in a place where you go, I knew that, but I didn't know how to activate that. This is The Daily Mess. Do you ever find yourself wondering where we would be in the everyday world? If today's digital tools had been part of our entire learning process. Now, I know that we have listeners that, that are anywhere between 14 to 75 years old. There's a serious age gap there of a 14 year old versus a 75 year old. And there were times where we had to physically use a ruler. And if you brought a calculator to class, pretty much that ruler was going to be slammed up against your hand. But do you ever wonder what it would have been like? If we would have had today's digital technology in our world, in the 60s, 70s, and a little bit more of the 1980s. I mean, I remember watching my daughter fall deeper in love with her space age looking Apple computer. My first one was primarily a place to plant my poetry, then quickly save it onto this thing that was like four by four inches. It was a floppy disk. But the question remains, what would life be like if we had today's digital capabilities during our growing up years. I bring this up only to wonder if Generation Alpha, that's those who have been born from 2010 forward, I often wonder if Generation Alpha knows how powerful the world really is. Or is it just another day? My grandchildren got their first smartphones as preteens, always quick to Google or send a message, but I'll never forget a friend's quote. We as human beings will never use the entire strength of a smartphone. It's so big and powerful beneath that surface that it's very sad to him to see us only text messaging, playing games, and watching YouTube. Where would we be if we would have had the digital technology back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and most of the 80s? Because it started to happen in the 1990s. Even, even the control rooms of the radio station, we had this thing in there called a computer, and that we didn't need a USA Today or a local newspaper anymore. We could just go on to this computer, this thing called the internet. It was fun being a part of that evolution, because once you got beyond this thing called AOL, where you're sending out messages to each other, it's like, how is this even possible? And then you could pay your bills. Living through that, and it's all documented in my daily writing. Going through those stages. And I challenge you in that moment to go back in your own personal life and document the stages of change. Because we were there before digital technology truly took over. I mean, the computer was always there. It just wasn't in the hands of everyday people. We didn't have the room for it in, in, inside the house. But what was it like for you to move through that generation? I've gone from albums to eight tracks, cassettes. We went from the cassette to the CD, and now digital streaming. The evolution 
of the digital age. How has it affected you? And has it done so in a way that maybe you'd like to go back, but could you handle not having digital technology? You know, going back to three networks on a TV channel that you had to stand up, walk across the room, and change the channel. Could you go back? I don't think so. I don't think mentally and physically we would be prepared to have to do something like that. It would destroy us. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.